All right, check this thing out. This was the cheapest zero turn mower I could find on Facebook Marketplace that actually ran. There's a bunch up for sale for like 500 bucks that didn't run, that needed work, but this one was up for 1500 bucks. It looks brand new and uh, it runs, drives, cuts, everything perfect, the guy said. He said he got it on trade. Basically, he did a job for a guy and got this as partial payment. So he said he didn't really know anything about it. He said he used it to cut his lawn one time just for testing before he sold it. And uh, he said it cut good. He owned a lawn care business or a landscaping business, I should say. And he said that uh, he uses John Deere. He doesn't use Craftsman, which I get because usually Craftsman is kind of like the cheaper brand for mowers. So we'll see today though. We're going to be testing it out. We're going to be going hard on it. Um, we'll take it to the land, test it out on the trails, and really see what this thing can do. I've always seen these at like Ace Hardware. They're usually up for like close to $4,000 for a 54 inch. And this one's got a 24 horsepower Kohler engine on it, which is really nice. 725 cc so it's a big engine uh, this is more of a commercial mower and uh, you know it's got the engine of a, a really nice mower on it so we should have plenty of power right now I'm using the Husqvarna to cut my lawn and it's just taken forever um, I've got about three acres I cut about probably half of that plus trails on this land and then I've got 50 acres over to the west of me that I cut trails on. So it would be nice to get something that's a little bit faster. And this thing, I believe, goes about six miles per hour. That one probably four. And this is a zero turn, so it should cut time almost in half, I would think. Plus, that thing was struggling on the hills. So I thought maybe this would go up the hills a little bit faster today, but we'll see. So just taking a look at it, you can see everything looks like brand new on it. No paint is chipped, no rust on this thing at all. Not a single speck of rust anywhere on this thing. <laughs> Pretty crazy for a mower. No rips in the seat at all. Engine looks perfect. The only blemish I see on it is one scrape right here. Must have hit something right there, like a stick or a log that was sticking out. But all the stickers are perfect. Everything's working great. There is a bungee cord on this, I'm guessing just in case that were to slip out. I wonder if the previous owner went on really bumpy terrain and that sometimes slipped out, but that seems really tight in there, so. That looks good. Tires look decent. I mean, look at the rims too. They're like brand new. Crazy. Um, it did come with extra blades here. Bunch of extra blades. Let's see. There was like rough cut ones in here. Normal ones. I mean, they're pretty, pretty decent. You can sharpen those up. Put those on. Also came with a manual. I believe this is a 2013. This was delivered 5613. Zero hours, trans fluid and filters 2020. So that's good. So it looks like he's got the extra key in here as well. Um, you can see here is the motor Kohler SV710, SV740, and then the SV10, SV840. We have the SV725. That's the manual for that. Nice to have. And then let's see what this says here. So this thing came with a bagger as well in the back of my truck right here. We'll go take a look at that too. That was a pretty nice addition. Um, you know, baggers are great for when fall comes and you wanna chop up the leaves and stuff like that. So let's see, trans fluid filters 2020. Um, Looks like he said Bager was $467.83. I'm guessing that's what that is. Um, let's see. Or maybe it was there. It says Freight 639. The 
here's the manual for everything. Looks like this guy kept pretty good care of everything. Alright, here's the bagger. It's a double bagger unit. Pretty nice. So that'll be great for leaves and stuff. If we like this machine. Pretty much steer these like a skid steer. I've always kind of wanted one of these because I have such a big yard. And I was going to upgrade, but these were always like $3,000, $4,000. And I was like, oh, I don't want to spend that much money. But uh, when this one popped up for $1,500 in the condition it was in, I was like, that's awesome. So the guy said he had a ton of people wanting it too. So I kind of knew it was a good deal once he said that. Let's check and see the oil in this thing. We'll do a quick oil check before running it for the first time. Just looking over the engine, everything looks super clean. Air filter. That looks brand new too. Couple pieces of grass in there. We'll get those off of there. And the guy said it had a pretty much brand new battery too. I'm just trying to find anything wrong with this, and I just can't. It's really, really clean. Quick oil check on it. The guy said there's brand new oil in it. So let's just see what that looks like. Yep, all the way up. Super clear. Man. This thing's like in perfect condition. I did see that the, the deck was painted a little bit because you can see the stickers painted. So I think he touched it up with a little paint. And you can kind of feel where the texture is different. So right here, I think he sprayed a little bit. All right, let's test out the settings here. We're gonna drop the, uh, the deck a little bit lower. Try, I think that's setting three. Try that, see how low that cuts.
All right, that's cutting pretty good. It uh, cut that a little bit in like five seconds. <laughs> it's really fast. Way easier than turning around with a with a tractor mower. But it is going to take a while to get used to driving. We're going to try and do the trails right here. This is really bumpy in here, so hopefully I can do them. Hand of the trail is no problem. It goes through the bumps just like the other tractor, so I didn't know what to expect with this one, so pretty happy with that. The setting seems to be pretty good too. Probably cutting the perfect length. We're gonna do a couple passes right here. See if we can make some stripes. It's a little dry out, but we'll see. That looks pretty good. Just a little dry out. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's doing a good job. It's way faster than the tractor mower. Way, way faster.
right, let's see how it does in this incline. It says that this can only handle a 10% incline, so let's see. We're riding on the edge of that. <laughs> handled that no problem that was awesome I was a little bit worried that it wouldn't Alright, so the other mower I had, this hill was trouble for it, so let's see what this can do. That hill looked nothing.
right, we made it out to the land. We're gonna be testing the mower today on some really, really high stuff. See if we can go through. And then we've got the baggers we wanna set up to test those out today. Looks like there's pins to put this on, so let's see if we can get those pins out. All right, let's see what the beggar can do. That's pretty cool. I've never used a bagger before, so. Kinda nice, actually. All right, we have this little patch right here. I want to do this is all really tall, probably two feet tall. Let's see if I can take that out. Took a couple passes, but we got it all out. 
couple rocks in there I wanted to avoid, so one right there, one right there. But yeah, did a pretty good job. Try to make it through this really deep stuff here. I'd say it did a pretty good job. Yeah, all the way up here through all this stuff. This was all overgrown. It's nice having fresh trails through here. Big rock pile right here. Tower. And all the way back here. Then we connected up to the other path over here, so yeah, that's doing a great job.
Oh, this thing has been great all day. It's not once stuttered, turned off, anything. No issues whatsoever with this thing. It's been great. The bagger's working good. Everything's working good on it. I cut all the trails, all the way up there, all the way here, multiple passes, all the way around the whole field, all the way through here, <laughs> all the way back there, and never once shut off, never overheated. This thing far exceeded my expectations. Um, you know, going into it, only paying 1500 bucks for it, I thought for sure there was gonna be something wrong, but sure enough, she cuts, runs great. And I was a little bit uh, worried about the hills here, because I mean, you can see that's a pretty big incline here. If I go down to the ground, it just disappears. And it just hauls right up there like nothing. Does not even stutter on the hills. So I know a lot of people were like me and kind of skeptical at first um, when you're buying a zero turn because you're worried about the hills, you're worried about it flipping over, you're worried about not having enough power, and um, also about going straight. And it does all those things. It, it's great. It's It far exceeds the, the tractor models. A lot of people were telling me that, you know, it's faster, it's quicker, it's easier to handle, it goes over hills like nothing. And uh, I was very skeptical, but sure enough, does all those things and uh, I'm super happy with it. But yeah, I think I'm, I'm not going back to the tractor model after riding one of these. They're pretty sweet. So thanks for watching guys, thanks for subscribing. Stay tuned for next video and until next time, we are out. Oh.